I'm guaranteed to win here now because of two things. If he wants to stop the Trick Room, he has to go for Max Phantasm uh, into the Dust Clops. Which also means he can't protect. Which also means he's going to give me minus one. Which also means my Lash Out's doubled in power. Which doesn't even matter at this point. I still, I just win by Dust Clops. I managed to just win by that. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be continuing on our road to number one, which we're likely going to reach like 1,000th and then give up. Uh, however, we're going to be continuing with this team that me and Jay Stewart built uh, in a coaching session the other day. Rental code's on the screen so you guys can stop commenting asking where it is, and yeah, we'll get into it. <laughs> so yeah, um, today we're going to be laddering with this team. I had a lot of fun using it the other day. I feel like it's a super solid team, and I'm actually really happy that it turned out as well as it did. Uh, but yeah, also last session we finally made it into Master Ball tier, which means that I can enjoy Master Ball tier for, what is that, 7-31? About 8 more days. There are 8 more days where I can enjoy Master Ball tier. <laughs> and then I have to go back and ladder up again. However, uh, next season I'll have more time because I'm done with my classes in a couple of days here. Uh, but yeah, I'm just, oh, I'm so excited. I, I have to walk this fine line between wanting to be a content creator and not wanting to be poor. Uh, and somehow I fail at both, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, question of the day guys, question of the day. I want to know, what do you guys think is like the one Pokemon that you will never be able to make work? Like, and don't cheat, don't say like Togepi, because who would use Togepi competitively? Not me, trust me. Um, but like, what's the one Pokemon that you've been trying to make work and it just isn't? Comment that down below, because I know a lot of people have a favorite Pokemon that isn't very good. And I just find that so interesting to know what other people are trying to work with. So, first battle here. Also, 150 likes. Can we get that? 150? Thank you. Love you. What do we have here? Uh, Sun Offense with Braviary as something to scare off my Incineroar in the lead, which is actually really scary now that I think about it. Um, they don't have much of a way of stopping my Trick Room, and it's pretty unlikely that they'll want to go with their own Trick Room setter. So, I'm going to go and lead off Toekus Dusclops for the easy Trick Room. Um, I think I want to bring Incineroar in the back, and probably just Tyranitar here. And I feel pretty solid with that. I'm, I'm a little bit concerned about um, that Urshifu. Because it's likely the dark type Urshifu. But I think Tokus should be able to hold its own. I think we'll be fine. Alright. As he leads off with Bravery of Venusaur, I'm actually really happy I made this lead then, because I'm guaranteed my Trick Room, and also I don't have to worry about um, the Intimidate. Alright. So, I can go ahead and go for the Follow Me here. I'm fine with going to sleep. If I can avoid the sleep, that'd be amazing, but the Trick Room is pretty free. I'm not going to think twice about this. The Trick Room is really nice. It's, it's pretty clear they went with Sun Offense versus me. There's probably a Torkoal in the back. And if they if they Dynamax here, I'd be like absolutely, positively happy if they ended up Dynamaxing this Venusaur for some unknown reason. It looks like my microphone's a little bit loud, so I'm going to turn it down just a bit and hope that that helps out. There we go. There we go. Hopefully that isn't like too big of a shift in, in loudness, but uh, I could see pretty clearly that my microphone is peaking a bit. All right, here's the follow me. They likely went for the sleep powder then. Kind of hoping they didn't. It'd be really nice if I could just keep my mons as they tailwind up. And they missed their sleep powder, which is incredible. Now this is a bit of a strange predicament to be in. Uh, their Venusaur is definitely slower than my Toekiss now because they have the Tailwind up, so rather than switching in the Tyranitar immediately, I'd like to remove the Venusaur to prevent any kind of sleep, so I'll go for the Nightshade here into the Air Slash, and as long as I land my Air Slash, I should be good to go. And the reason I'm Nightshading is because I'm not really concerned about Braviary. There isn't anything it does to me that's too scary at the moment. Alright, cool. So, land the Air Slash. Thank you, Tokus. We got rid of probably the biggest threat on their side of the field. Uh, short of Braviary. Braviary can be a threat, but I'm not too concerned about it. And the Frisk let us know that there isn't like a Lumber or anything. Unless I'm stupid and there is a Lumber and I wasn't reading right. That has happened before. I have completely misread the, the Frisk before. Like, I, I'm not above that, man. I, I'm definitely not above that. I'm an idiot sometimes. Let's see if there's a Torkoal. Hatterene. Alright. I think that's pretty fine. 
Uh, they're likely just going to go for the Dazzling Gleam. I'm fine with letting Toakis go down here. So I'll Dazzling Gleam up, and I'll go for the Will-O-Wisp onto this Braviary. Yeah, I want to remove the, the Braviary's offensive presence. Is they Dynamax? Okay. And I have to I have to admit something. Um, I might have not been reading as closely as I should have been when the frisk went off because I feel like I saw a life orb on the Braviary and then the rock slide did no life orb damage. So I'm kinda concerned that that's sheer force and I could have switched in Incinera this whole time. Oh no, it's Lumberry. Okay, we're good. We're good. G-Max Smite, that's gonna hurt a bit, but as long as I get in my Tyranitar for free, I'm pretty good with that. God, that's such a cool animation. Alright, don't get fully confused. Come on. There we go. The Dazzling Gleam's gonna do some pretty hefty damage to the Braviary, especially with that crit. And there's the Rock Slide. Not quite enough to knock out the Tokus, which I'm kind of okay with. Um. Probably in my best interest to follow me away this G Max Smite and attempt a, another Will O Wisp onto this Braviary. Because if I can get my. If I can burn that Braviary, then. Oh, okay. Well, Braviary is gone. <laughs> I can switch an Incinera now, which is kind of nice. Alright, well, the Indeed is out. Uh, Will O Wisp isn't doing much. However, now I have the option of. Ooh, Psychic Seed. I was, I was going to say, now I have the option of getting an Incineroar for um, a Psychic move, but not too concerned. Hopefully they just go for the um, Max Psychic and remove the Toakus from the field, because it'd be nice to get Incineroar in for free. As those cops hurts itself. Max Mindstorm, okay, there we go. Now, what I want to do is I want to bait them into going for a Psychic move into this Dusclops slot. So I'll go ahead and I'll get in my Incineroar on this slot. And I will get in my Tyranitar for the Dusclops this turn. And Trick Room should be running out soon. I believe there's one or two more turns. And there's no point in forcing out the Hatterene. Like, it's, it's Dynamax is essentially over. Yeah, it's got one more turn of Trick Room. So they should want to, like, Expanding Force and double into the Dusclops slot. So I'll get in the Tyranitar on that. Uh, and I can probably just go for this... Um... Actually, does Dynamax and Incineroar kind of win? It might. It might. I'm just going to go for the Darkest Lair out into the Indeedee. And get in the Tyranitar. Because they shouldn't go for a favorite move. They should 100% go for the Psychic move if they want to guarantee to knock out this Dusclops. So I might be able to waste their final turn of uh, Trick Room and their Dynamax. And then outside of Trick Room, I kind of mess them up. Alright, hopefully they went for the Mindstorm. If they went for Smite, I'm going to be kind of annoyed. <laughs> I'm going to be a little bit annoyed, not going to lie. There's the Follow Me. I went for the Smite. Please let that be Incineroar. Now it's Tyranitar. Alright, well, we're Dynamaxing Incineroar. This is the, uh, this is the reality we've, we've come to know. At the very least, we have our Weakness Policy. Incineroar is confused, which I don't like, but I'm also not comfortable switching him out. Um, mainly because if I switch him out, I'm gonna have to switch him back in on the Braviary. And I should be able to win by spamming Max Flare, just because it does so much damage, and we just immediately one-shot that, that Indeedee, and that's kind of beautiful. And they should 100% focus down the... Yeah, they should be focusing down my Tyranitar this next turn, so if I Dynamax my Incineroar, I can go for Max Flare into the Braviary for the KO. And we should just be good to go, as long as I don't get completely confused like five turns in a row. I'm assuming it's going to be Superpower coming up from the Braviary. 
Max Flare. I really hate that I have to be confused while I do this. And we'll go for Rock Slide. That was a really awkward match. I had to play super defensively versus the Hatterene. And uh, that bad call on the Max Smite was... It, it could have lost me the match if Tyranitar went down. I feel like there's a rule. If you're using supportive Incineroar, which most Incineroar, Incineroar are, uh, and you Dynamax it, then you're doing something wrong. <laughs> that, that's definitely a rule. There's the Rock Slide. It's gonna knock out the Tyranitar. Um, Hatterene shouldn't have too much it can do versus me. As long as I don't get confused, I should be good to go. Alright, we're good to go. We're good to go. Because I only have to fight through one more turn of confusion, I believe. And I don't think there's any way Hatterene takes... Like, Hatterene shouldn't be able to knock me out in any situation. There's the Dazzling Gleam. Alright. Yeah, we should be fine. Switching the Dust Clops. Notice I stub and said beautiful. That, that's like a thing I do. I go beautiful every time I'm like in a winning position. And I'm just not comfortable saying that right now because I don't know if I'm going to get fully confused and crit, you know? Like all those horrible things that could happen to me. Alright, cool. Now we won. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> now I can say it. Now I can say it. Uh, that's just a thing I do. For some reason, when I'm playing a match and I'm like in a winning position, I just go beautiful, beautiful, because everything's playing out how I want it to. That match was not beautiful. It was beautiful for the last 30 seconds. As soon as it said Incineroar snapped out of confusion, I was like, ah, yes, beautiful. There, there are a couple of things in this world that are beautiful. Uh, I would say um, trees, birds, uh, Chef Boyardee, and uh, Incineroar cl clicking Max Flare. You know that. Those things are beautiful. Alright. Oh yeah, moving up in the world, 5,000. <laughs> okay. Um, I kind of want to do the Rillaboom Tyranitar thing at some point today. It's just a fun, fun way of using this team. As we see, honestly not a terrible game for Rillaboom. However, it looks like if I want to beat this team... Um, I kind of have to go all in on the offensive Toekiss rather than anything else. Yeah, I'm thinking the way I win this is going Toekiss and Cinnaroar in the lead. And in the back, I can probably bring Rillaboom and Tyranitar, likely. Um, actually, Primarino seems fine. Premier seems fine because if I can remove the if I can remove the um, monkey from their side of the field, I should be able to just bring in Premarina perfectly safely. And don't mind the weird rattling noises. I noticed that was in the background of the last video. Uh, that's just my rats. They are drinking water. They're very thirsty rats. Yeah, I'll just go Tyranitar. So this is like a full offense, like just straight up getting kills. Alright, Incineroar Tokus, that is the lead I wanted. Completely creative and original. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> how are you? My name is uh, Incineroar. This is my buddy Tokus, and uh, we're gonna click Max Airstream. Why? Because it's gangsta. Alright, um... So, if you notice, my Intimidate went second, so I'm not comfortable clicking Fake Out into their Incineroar. I definitely think it's it's the play to just go all out into that Tokus slot. However, it might be in my best interest to bring in the Primarina. Just because they're gonna fake out my Incineroar, if anything. They shouldn't be faking out the They shouldn't be faking out to the Tokus slot, because I think we're both gonna Dynamax. We're just gonna trade max airstreams. But at least here I have some some better offensive pressure. If I go hard pre-marina this turn. If 
they end up faking out my Tokus, I'm going to be real upset. <laughs> or actually, no, I'll be happy. I'll be happy. If they don't Dynamax, I'll be even happier. Because if they don't Dynamax here, that's a throw. As we both try to make a switch here, and they get in there Amoongus. Okay. That's fine. Um, well, maybe. I have to one-shot this Toekiss here. Alright. If I can get the crit, this Toekiss should be as good as dead. Actually, I'm not certain. I have a lot of special attack investment, but some Toekiss are pretty bulky. I kind of hope they Dynamax, to be honest, because then I get a guaranteed KO on this uh, Amoongus. Yep, they're Dynamaxing. So they can't redirect away from the Amoongus. I should be able to KO it. And I'm able to get a nice spread move to guarantee to get some damage on the Tokus this turn. Let's see how much I do. We also know that I'm faster now since my Dynamax went first. Which I expected. This is a very fast crit kiss. Alright, was that a crit or no? I kind of hope that wasn't, but I feel like it was. Yeah. That's not Gucci. That's not Gucci considering how little we did. Hopefully he was a big dumb and went for Max Starfall. No, Max Airstream? That's fine. And my Pre Marina. Critical hit. So we're both crit kiss. Um, if I want to guarantee a KO on this Amoongus, I should probably just max Airstream into it. And I kind of want a Hyper Voice for damage on the Toekiss to guarantee that I knock it out next turn. Yeah, I think the two combined should KO, barring it being uh, Koba Berry, which we all know is the best item. But if I can get this crit, I, I feel like the crit into the Hyper Voice might do it. Yeah, there's the Koba Berry. Come on, baby. Crit. <laughs> 50% chance to knock this thing out, probably. I'm not certain, actually. That doesn't look like a crit. Well, that's unfortunate, because 50% more damage probably would have put it in range of Hyper Voice. There's the Max Airstream. They're going to put me to sleep. Uh, luckily, I still have my scope... Not scope lens. Luckily, I still have the safety goggles on my Incinera. There's the Spore. So Tokus is now asleep. Um, I'm not sure how terrible that is for us, because we should take a hit with our Incineroar. And I would go Tyranitar here, but it, it's just smarter to go Incineroar. Like, it's just it's just smarter. Because if they go, they're going to be going for Spore into the, uh, into the Incineroar slot, and we haven't revealed safety goggles at all, so we should be good. Like, we're not good good, but we're like, we're good, you know? We're good. Uh, it's not worth faking out into the Amoongus. It's better for me just to click Max Airstream. And go for the Flare Blitz. And the reason I'm not faking out to Amoongus is because I'm going to take a Max Airstream into my Incinera, regardless. As he protects. Ooh, okay. I wasn't expecting that, actually. There's the Max Airstream, probably into my Incineroar. Does a bit over half. As a critical hit. So if he doesn't crit, I might be able to take it next turn. I think what he's trying to do is guarantee that he outspeeds me next turn with his Incineroar. Or with his, um... Uh, Amoongus. This is a bit of a scary match. However, he hasn't done any damage to my Toekiss yet, so I'm just going to go ahead and Dazzling Gleam. And Flare Blitz, because if Max Airstream did that much with a crit, if he doesn't crit me this turn, he shouldn't be able to knock me out. And I'm really hoping he just goes for a Rage... not Rage Powder, uh, for a Spore with his Amoongus. Because at plus 3 speed, he should be confident that he's going to outspeed my Incineroar. This entire match has been just a game of inches, and so far I think they're winning. I think they are doing better than me at the moment, but I think I can pull it back. Because there's an Incineroar in the back, we have a Tyranitar in the back. We still haven't revealed the Tyranitar, so there's an air of um, there's an air of mystique there. Like, ooh, what does he have? 
Also, I still outspeed him at just plus two, which is amazing. Hopefully he doesn't crit me on my Incineroar here. Because if he crits me, that's going to be a big issue. Alright, cool. We're good. Hopefully he goes for the Spore. Oh, he just crit me. That does nothing. There's the Palm Puff. No. Alright, that was big-brained. That was big-brained as hell. Alright, uh, my play here is always going to be to Air Slash and Rock Slide. Because Rock Slide will pick up the KO on the, um, on the Togekiss. And it'll prevent any redirection from knocking me out. And Air Slash will also, if it connects, KO the uh, Amoongus. I don't really mind if the Incineroar comes out. Um, because he's going to give me my weakness policy with this Togekiss probably. And I think plus one Rock Slide will be doing too much damage for him to ignore. I also still have full health on this. Well, nearly full health on the Tokus. Like, it was actually really nice that that happened. It's gonna be annoying. There's the Air Slash. Hopefully we crit so we can knock it out. Alright. Well, let's see if he's faster than the <laughs> than this uh, Tyranitar. He likely is. There's the Spore. Ooh, I think that was a little bit of a misplay. Going for it into the Tyranitar, because... Let me think, like, how, how does he win now? Um, I just have to protect this next turn on the fake out coming out from Incineroar. And because he went first, I can also attempt to lash out into this, um... Into this Amoongus for the KO. No, there's the Excadrill. Ooh, he might have won here. He might have actually won. I can protect and attempt a high horsepower. Because he did go first. He went first, which means that I have the potential to wake up this turn. And if he gives me my weakness policy, this is a dead, this is a dead um, Excadrill. the Iron Head. Hopefully I wake up here. <sighs> Alright, um, let me think. So he does have the he does have the opportunity to fake out. It's in my best interest just to go for a double protect and try again. It's probably Sash Excadrill too, which is a little bit difficult. We don't get the double, so we're likely just down, you know. As he goes for the fake out. Ooh, he might give me my weakness policy here. Interesting they ended up going for that. Um, let me see if I wake up. Oh, he's life orbs. This is my KO. Ah, still fast asleep. That's disappointing. Because had I woken up there, we had a chance. So, a little bit annoyed. Full turns asleep. Um, he should be going for the Iron Head. I have to high horsepower back. He should probably parting shot as well. As he rock slides, he's not giving me any opportunity here. There's the parting shot. Hopefully I crit. <laughs> yeah, my only out is playing for crits. Finally wake up. High horsepower. Ooh, not quite. However, I am going to outspeed this Amoongus, and I have to always go for Rock Slide here, because if he gives me my weakness policy, I have a chance to flinch. And I think Life Orb plus the Rock Slide damage will do it if I somehow manage to live this hit. But Life Orb Iron Head is likely going to knock me out, so I just have to hope for the best. Like the lowest of low rolls, if that's even a thing. If that's even possible. There's the Intimidate. There's the Protect. So it looks like Rock Slide really was the play. Hopefully I don't miss. <laughs> Maybe I'll crit here too. Nah, not quite. Sandstorm's gone. 
so it's in my best interest to protect here. And his Incinerator is faster than me, so next turn, instead of going for um, high horsepower, I can just lash out into the Excadrill slot if I, you know, if I manage to live, you know. Because he's going to Parting Shot. As he's not even going to give me that. Like, he does not want to go for Iron Head. Yeah, let me go for Lash Out on this um, probable Parting Shot. As the Excudrill protects, ugh, I could have definitely gotten a KO on that stupid Amoongus. Or not, not a KO, but tons of damage to the point where I could Rock Slide next turn. Couldn't he have, like, Iron Headed three turns ago? And one? He's just giving me opportunities to crit. Alright, it's still my best interest to rock slide on this. Because if I if he if I get a crit, then I'm fine. If he gives me my weakness policy, I still have a chance to flinch the Amoongus. There's a lot of things here that like I have no idea why he hasn't just knocked me out yet. Yeah, I have a chance to flinch here. And I also have a chance to crit. Like you gotta just knock me out. I have no idea why he hasn't done it yet. There's the protect. Watch me get the crit on the incinerator. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, once again, um, I, I keep doing this. Like, I keep just cycling Protect and Rock Slide. Like, I don't have a ton of Rock Slides. I have eight Rock Slides left. But the fact of the matter is, he's just giving me opportunities here, and I don't know why. Is he trying to win the time? Is that what he's doing? He might just be... He, he might just be, like, a jerk, and that's what he's going for. He's just trying to be a jerk, but... I mean, if he's giving me opportunities to win, I shouldn't, I shouldn't, like, complain, you know? Here's the fake out. I want a rock slide, I really do. But if he's just gonna protect and do that same thing again, I should lash out into the incinerator. Yeah, there's the Protect. So he's going to Parting Shot. I get Lash Out damage on whatever comes in, or the Amoongus. And if I crit my Lash Out, Amoongus is dead. So this guy, like, he's got to stop giving me these opportunities. There's absolutely no reason he should be doing this. Like, even if he's just trying to be, like, a jerk, this is objectively a horrible play. See, that's fine. Because I can still flinch with Rock Slide. There's the Iron Head. There we go. Finally, dude. You could have done that like 10 turns ago. You're only giving me opportunities to win there. So confused what that was about. All right, well, moving on to the next match. Ah, uh, yes, a Comet Shard. All right, and we'll continue battling. Ow, oh no, 6,000. <laughs> This team is, let me think, um, it's just Ted, it's just like standard Ted. So versus this, I should likely go for Trick Room and bring the Incineroar on the lead. They're probably going to bring Amoongus versus me, which is why I have to bring the Incineroar. Bring my Tyranitar. And I think my last mon's going to have to be the Primarina. Just because it does really well versus the rest of his team. And Primarina might be a prime Dynamax candidate for this match. Because I can prevent all forms of sleep by getting up my terrain. In fact, Primarina on the lead might have been a better play. But I think I'm fine with this. 
Actually, yeah, Primarina and Sinora in the lead would have been amazing. I locked in a little bit too fast there. They go in they go Excadrill Tyranitar. Um I mean he does have the opportunity to lash out. Because he's getting minus one. I, if I remember correctly, the, the lash out does affect or it does count as like being doubled in power on turn one. Like that is how it works. So we see the weakness policy and the focus sash, exactly what you'd expect. Um it's probably in my best interest just to go for the Fake out into this Tyranitar. If Incineroar goes down, that isn't the end of the world. And I should trick room up. Because then I can get in my um, my Primarina. Yeah, I want to prevent any kind of lash out going on there. There's the Rock Slide. He's going for the flinch. It's not doing too much to Dust Cops, but at the very least... Um... Yeah, okay. At the very least, Tyranitar wouldn't be able to knock me out the next turn since he wouldn't have lash out. So what I'll do here is I'll actually parting shot on this. Actually, I could probably knock out the Excadrill, but it's not in my best interest. I'll just parting shot, and I'll go for a Will-O-Wisp into their Tyranitar. And then that lets me get in Primarina for free. Well, nearly free, because they're going to be both at minus two. Well, Tyranitar is technically at, like, minus three. And Excadrill is at minus two. Yeah, it's getting the Primarina. It's going to be a prime Dynamax candidate here. And I can just go for Nightshade into this Excadrill as I Hyper Voice. That's going to tickle. Yeah. And he goes for Rock Slide. Once again, just a tickle. Just a tickle. J just a tickle, man. J just a tickle. Alright, um... Yeah, and I should definitely just go for Nightshade and the Hyper Voice here. I don't want a Dynamix yet. Um, I'm keeping my Incinera around in the off chance they go for the uh, Amoongus play. Like, if they brought the Amoongus, it would come in sometime soon. And if I Dynamax, uh, I'm susceptible to being put to sleep and wasting my whole Dynamax. So I don't want to do that yet. And I don't mind giving this thing its weakness policy because it's it's still burned, you know, and it's at minus one. I can switch in the Incinera, reset that. That's probably a Moongus. I'm cool with that. Uh, I can switch in the Incineroar here as I get the KO on the... Yeah, I get the KO on this Excadrill and I can get an Incineroar for the Primarina. And I don't think I mind losing Dusclops. I don't think I mind that at all. Or at least, not, not losing, but like, having Dusclops be put to sleep. In fact, I technically don't even need to switch out Primarina now that I think about it. Yeah, there's the Tyranitar. It still burns, so what I can do is I can go for a Protect with my Primarina. And I can get in my Incineroar on this turn. I can go for a Fake Out, and then I can Max Fairy into this um, Tyranitar. And that'll prevent any sleep. As we get another Intimidate as well. So that's going to help out with the uh, inevitable weakness policy we're going to give this thing. There's the Protect, as he's likely going to be putting me to sleep. Or trying, at least. There's the Spore. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, yeah. And this thing is not in a position to be... This, this thing is not in a position to knock anything out, especially by Dynamax here. So I'll go ahead and I'll Dynamax my Primarina. Go for the Max Starfall into this um, Tyranitar slot, and I can go for the Fig Out into this Amoongus, preventing that Spore from coming out, and it'll also set up the Misty Terrain, which should put me in a position where he can't do anything.
There we go. All right. I always hate how long it takes for the turns to load when there's like sand on the field. I don't know why. Why it's like difficult for it to load. It might just be the internet connection. I have no idea, man. I wonder if it's painful for Premier to stand on its tiny little tail. Like this thing's top heavy, man. There's the protect. That's fine. I'm still gonna get my terrain. And this is Life Orb Pre-Marina. I'm, I'm not even sure if this Tyranitar is going to take it with the sand. This is going to be a powerful hit. Ooh, beautiful. Yeah, they're not putting me to sleep. I haven't sure that at this point. What a beautiful thing. Misty Terrain, add that onto the list of beautiful things. We got Chicken Nuggets, Birds, Misty Terrain. And other stuff. I forget the rest. <laughs> and also now this uh, Amoongus is slower than my Tyranitar, so, or not Tyranitar, my uh, Incineroar, so I can just go for the KO. And their last Mons Dragapult. I love that. I love that. I can remove this thing from the field, and I still have Tyranitar in the back to pick up the win, so I'm just going to Starfall, and I'm just going to Flare Blitz, and that should be game. Even if they manage to knock out this pre Reno with like a, a Max Phantasm, I'm, I'm good to go. Which, they're likely going to just... Spore, or not Spore, uh, Rage Powder. I always, like, mix up Amoongus' moves for some reason. Just the names of them. I love that. <laughs> I love that Dragapult just turns invisible for the last little bit of his Dynamax animation. It's just, it's just appropriate, man. There's the Rage Powder. I don't mind that at all, because we still got Tyranitar in the back. And if he goes for a max Wormwind, then he's going to get lashed out. And that's going to be a beautiful way to end the session. Yeah, no, he can't one-shot my Tyranitar. No way, no how. Unless you got a Steel Spike, then I, then I lost. But I can always just double into it, you know? Alright. What a powerful pose. That thing's gone. I'm so excited to click Lash Out on a Max. <laughs> I'm so excited to click Lash Out on a Max Wormwind. That's what this move was made for. This is this move's calling. Hopefully they don't they don't forfeit. I would like them to at least try to go for a crit or something. All right, let's go for it. Lash Out. Dark as Lariat. Should be good to go. That should just be game. Ah, he airstreamed. That's sad, man. That would have been so funny to actually get that. Um, however, I'm guaranteed to win here now because of two things. If he wants to stop the Trick Room, he has to go for Max Phantasm uh, into the Dust Clops, which also means he can't protect, which also means he's going to give me minus one which also means my Lash Out's doubled in power, which doesn't even matter at this point. I still, I just win by Dusclops. I managed to just win by that. But I'm kind of hoping he just goes for the max, um... <laughs> I'm kind of hoping he just goes for the max move on the Dusclops. Yeah, he's got no, he's got no outs here. Gonna make, I'm gonna take this man to the outhouse, dude. Taking this man to the outhouse. Battle was cancelled, that's what I thought. Get small. Get small. Yeah. You're a little lizard. Talking down to Dragapult. I never thought I'd do that in a in a live, you know. But yeah, uh, we went two and one this session. Climbed a bit. We'll see what we'll see, we'll see what my final ladder is. We'll see what my final ladder is. Definitely higher than where I started. Rank battles. Double battle. Update the rank. taking a minute to load 54 all right well that isn't too bad um i think i might be able to break top 500 by the end of the month if i can find time to play I, i've got finals next week so it's gonna be a little bit tough but yeah thank you so much for watching guys i appreciate every single one of you for subscribing liking the video uh turn on notifications you guys are amazing uh join the discord if you want all those links are in the description and i'll see you guys in the next video bye